His dominance in the world of Muay Thai is well documented, and we've had front row seats to his climb to the top of kickboxing. Please welcome Simon Marquez. They call him the one. There's not much this man cannot do in a glory kickboxing ring. Skill-wise, Joe, he has to be considered pound for pound one of the best in the world today. Well, easily, before coming into glory, he was an undefeated Muay Thai champion. And even in his Muay Thai career, he has wins over Joe Schilling, Artem Levin, Philippe Verlinden. So he had a very successful Muay Thai career. And when he switched over to glory, there was a lot of question whether he could do it or not. And he showed that he can. And his style is just constantly exciting. And he leaves it all in the ring. And you see it even in his losses. He goes out on his shield and he leaves all his heart and emotion in the ring. One of the toughest pound for pound punchers on the glory roster is back for his second defense of the belt. He is Jason Wilness. I am better. I am stronger. Those are the words from Jason Psycho Wilness full of confidence and full of rage, Joe. Jason Wilness doesn't show his heart on his sleeve, doesn't get emotional, but for this fight, he certainly has, is that good or is that bad? Well, I think it's good for him. I think regardless, when Jason Wilness is in the ring, it's a different person than you see outside of the ring. He brings a lot of good pressure. He brings a lot of good power. He's got heavy hands, good low kicks. And there's no secret what Jason Wilness is going to do. He fights the same way all the time, but it's just so effective, and no one has to seems to find an answer for that style. Almost an all-out brawl yesterday at the weigh-in, pushing and shoving, and a lot of very strong words for one another. Wilness versus Marcus. When you spend that much time in the ring together, you learn to hate, and the hate is real. Here's our tail of the tape for the middleweight championship of the world. Jason Wilness fighting out of the Netherlands. Simon Marcus from Canada. Jason Wilness still very young in the fight game, 26 years old. The reach advantage of three and a half inches falls to Simon Marcus. And looking at professional experience, it is basically Wilness having more of that kickboxing experience where Marcus has that Muay Thai experience. But looking at the power, you can see how powerful Wilness is. He's given 11 knockdowns in his career, only sustained two, where Simon has delivered four and taken five. But what impresses me and what is the key for Simon is uses kicks, uses knees versus the boxing and low kicks of Wilness. Here's our championship rules, five rounds, three minutes each, three knockdowns in a round or four in the fight, and it will result in a TKO. And, and the five judges tonight in Copenhagen will be scoring using the 10-point must system. Scoring is based on knockdowns, damage, clean scoring strikes with an emphasis on spectacular techniques. Finally, if there's no advantage, judges are looking at aggressiveness. This is your main event of the evening. Five rounds for the glory middleweight championship of the world. The third in an unfriendly trilogy of fights with split victories in New Jersey and Dubai. And the challenger looking to reclaim kickboxing's biggest prize. This bout sanctioned by the International Sport Kickboxing Association. And at the bell, your referee is Paul Nichols. From Copenhagen to Canada, 
Glory kickboxing fans are watching live around the world. It's time for glory. Let's meet the challenger fighting out of the black corner, a four-time Muay Thai world champion. His professional record, 46 wins, three losses, two bouts scored even, and 26 knockouts. He stands six feet, one inch tall, 1.85 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at 183 and one half pounds, 83.2 kilos. Fighting out of Toronto, Canada, he is the former glory middleweight champion of the world. He is the one, Simon Marquez. His opponent standing on my left and fighting out of the white corner, coming off of a successful defense of the belt at Glory 37 in Los Angeles. His record, 30 wins with six losses, one draw, eight of those wins by knockout. Standing six feet, one inch tall, 1.85 meters. He weighed in at fight time at 185 and one half pounds, 84.2 kilos. He's here tonight. Fighting out of Utrecht, the Netherlands. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning and defending glory middleweight champion of the world, Jason Psycho Wilness. Again, your referee in charge of this championship bout is Paul Nichols. Gentlemen, you understand the rules that you're fighting to. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. World title fight, I expect you to fight like a world title. Touch gloves if you like. They don't touch gloves. Judge. They despise Judge. each other. Judge. Can they keep their emotions in check? Will they keep fight. their emotions in check? Should they? Here we go. Five rounds in the middleweight division for the championship of the world. Jason Wilness, the champion, wearing the white gloves. Simon Marcus, the challenger, in the black. And this fight is about Wilness really trying to control the center of the ring, where Simon's going to try to stay long on the outside and use his left kick and a lot of those left knees that he found success with. But that's going to be tough against those low kicks and inside punching of Wilness. In their last fight, it was Simon Marcus who came out and looked amazing for the first two or three minutes and then let his guard down, and Jason Wilness just started teeing off and won the fight with a knockout. And Simon, for this fight, went to Thailand, and he trained with Buakau Banchamak back in Thailand, um, K1 kickboxing legend. So for Simon, that's a lot of confidence coming in here, sticking to his Muay Thai roots. And one of the best assets that Jason Wilness has is his ability to absorb punishment. He will get hit with punches and kicks, but seemingly can walk through just about anything. But a lot of those shots that people throw at Wilness are blocked off his guard. He stays calm under his shell and his shield, and then counters right back. Break! Fight! This is the second title defense for Jason Wilness. Eats a body kick there. And what Jason Wilness does well is, if Simon throws a kick, Wilness counters right back. So he shuts down the kicks of Simon by countering right back. As far as skills go, Joe, where does Jason Wilness have an edge? Well, it's that pressure fighting and getting on the inside. His inside boxing and low kicks are what makes Wilness very dangerous. Where Simon's advantage is staying on the outside and watch out for that left kick. I've sparred with Simon many times in the past and that left kick is very difficult to get around. I want to thank those of you watching in the United States on ESPN2 and around the world on ESPN3 in over 170 countries. It's the middleweight championship of the world. The final fight of a trilogy between Simon Marcus and Jason Wilness. Shout out to all the Canadians watching and supporting back home in Toronto. My hometown also. A big following for Simon Marcus in Canada for sure. Wilness just as popular in the Netherlands. Jason Wilness's brother, Jafar Wilness, a heavyweight fighter, has had a lot of success as well. He's in his brother's corner tonight. What did you make of this round one? Not a ton of action, Joe. Surprised at all. Well, it's very patient, and I think that's what Simon has to do, and that's Wilness's strategy. 
he likes to come in, stay calm the first two rounds, and by round three, he really picks it up. Let's listen into the corners here. First, we go into Jason Wilnes's. You heard the corner there, Simon Marcus, saying this fight takes place in the middle of the ring. Why is that so important for him? Well, his coach, Howard Wright, doesn't want Simon against the ropes. And that's where Willness is dangerous because he's trying to control the center. He needs, Simon needs to dictate the pace, and that's what Howard's telling him. So the smaller that Jason Willness can make this ring, the better. That's right. He's going to constantly, pr he doesn't move back. He's going to take the absorption off of his guard and counter back with those kicks or those punches. And for those of you just watching Glory Kickboxing for the first time, type in Jason Willness or Simon Marcus on YouTube for pad work. And you'll see how hard these kicks truly are. They can blast. It's amazing that another human being doesn't fall straight down when they're hit with them. Both exchanging kicks. Like that one. Simon focusing on the left body kick and, and, and hitting the body where Wilness attacks the legs. Strikes landed so far. 28 to 16, Simon Marcus with the edge. Who did you give round one to, Joe? Well, there was. it's very equal in, in damage, but it seems like Simon's activity and being a lot busier has won him that round, but judges can be looking at that pressure fighting as an advantage. At the top of the broadcast, we asked you your keys to glory for Simon Marcus, and you said he basically just has to stay away and not really get involved in a brawl. Is that what he's doing so far? Well, he's being a little bit more active on the outside, which is good, but I still feel that he needs to stay a little bit more defensive up top because I saw Wilness really do a good job at changing levels with his punches. Last time they fought, Simon Marcus was taunting Jason Wilness, put his hands down, tried to do a little Roy Jones action, and got caught. He hasn't been that foolish so far tonight. But you can see, yes, Simon was more active in that first round, but it doesn't seem to be affecting Wilness at all. He just continually walks forward. And when he does get hit, he counters right back with something that does damage. And you'll see Simon Marcus's his legs move a little bit. According to MMA Odds Breaker, the champion, Jason Willness, a slight favorite, minus 135, which means you bet $135 to win 100. Nice left hook by Willness. Oh, what a body kick by Simon Marcus. But again, it doesn't seem to phase Willness. Another knee, too. I like when Willness throws his left hook to the body. Again, right to the rib cage. But already you can see the redness building up from those left kicks of Simon. Another good output round for Simon Marcus, who's almost landed twice as many strikes as Jason Wilness. I mentioned at the top of the broadcast, you told us or gave us your keys to glory. Let's check those out one more time, Joe. Well, let's take a look at Jason Wilness first, and, and it's controlling the center of the ring, which is exactly what he's doing. And he's countering back right away. For every left kick that Simon throws, Wilness is countering right back, whether it's with punches or kicks. And he's not letting Simon get momentum. And look what he's doing. He's being active with his combinations. And I feel he still needs to pick up his activity um, and change levels with his punches. Where Simon, like his coach Howard Wright said, don't stay against the ropes. He needs to stick to his Muay Thai roots like he's doing. Keep throwing that left kick. Keep changing levels, though. But I find that his hands are a little too low and a little open to the counter punches of Wilness. 
Simon Marcus, very proud of his Jamaican roots. His corner wearing the yellow and green of the Jamaican flag. Foot. Round three of a scheduled five here. We are live in Copenhagen, Denmark. This middleweight title fight between Simon Marcus and Jason Wilness. So that second round I'm gonna give to Wilness. He's doing a lot more damage when he lands. He seems to be walking past everything Simon has to throw. And remember, a lot of those kicks that Simon are throwing are off the arm of Wilness. Some are landing, but a lot of them are off the, the forearm of Wilness. So you're not buying into these total strike statistics that were put up on the screen where Simon Marcus has landed 63 to Wilness' 37. Well, you got to remember the second scoring criterion, Glory, is damage. And it seems like every time Wilness throws, he's doing a little bit more damage. And look at the body kicks. Incredible, 25 to 0. But for every body kick that Simon throws, Wilness is returning with a low kick. So if we were to see low kick stats, you would see Wilness dominating in that category. Maybe we'll see those, Joe. Ask and you shall receive, perhaps. There you go. Leg kicks. Wilness 17, Marcus 9. And Wilness got a right hand through there, which backed Simon Marcus up for a second. See, this is where Simon needs to get out of. He can't be comfortable sitting in, in the corners. Simon Marcus, a former Muay Thai light heavyweight world champion. And why has Simon Marcus been so successful at transitioning from Muay Thai to kickboxing, perhaps better than any other Muay Thai fighter we've ever seen? Well, one, because he's an exceptional athlete and he's a martial artist. He, he just doesn't train for fights. He fights all year round. Fighting is, is his life. So. Those transitions are easy when you're a, a phenomenal athlete like Simon. At least he makes it look easy. The respective trainers for both these fighters told us they are in the shape of their lives. No excuses as far as conditioning goes for either Wilness or Marcus. Another low kick from Wilness. Simon continuing with those kicks, but the story is Wilness throwing right back. What are the judges looking at here? Are they going to be more impressed with the output of Simon Marcus or the damage of Jason Wilness? That's what makes this tough very difficult to score. Those knees of Simon are doing well. Now Wilness on the inside, wants to trade going to the end of round three. Nice low kick. Beautiful low kicks, mixing up inside and outside. Well done, Jason. Beautiful. Let it come. We're almost there. Our translator is telling us they keep telling Jason Willis to use the legs, use the legs. And you also see Rico Verhoeven's coach, Dennis Carwell, in the corner, and I heard him say something about the body. Also being told. He was instructed to keep your distance. That's a bit strange because you said it was Simon Marcus that needed to keep the distance. Well, I have a feeling that they're a little bit concerned of the knees of Simon. So maybe that little bit of extra space will avoid the knees and help with Wilness counterpunching. We are in the championship rounds now. Rounds four and five still to come. So from what I gathered, it's going to be Wilness really trying to still hit the body and use his low kicks where Simon's going to continue to use his knees and kicks on the outside. This has been a razor close fight thus far. Neither man, except for perhaps Simon Marcus in the first round, has made a definitive statement. But Simon Marcus may be a little hurt here, ate a couple of punches, but continues to walk forward. 
And sometimes the best defense in kickboxing can be your offense, and that's exactly what Simon Marcus did after eating those punches. And what Simon's trying to use that kick to try to slow down the boxing of Wilness, but Wilness just does a good job at mixing in counter hooks or counter low kicks. Simon Marcus maybe getting a little sloppy right now. Do you sense some fatigue setting in? Well, I started seeing a little bit in the third round. I'm seeing it a little bit from both fighters, but it still looks like Jason Wilness that every time he does hit, he's doing more damage. Good low kicks by Wilness. He needs to keep up with those right low kicks. We haven't seen a braggadocious Simon Marcus like we've seen in the past. So maybe he decides just to change his game plan up tonight. Play it more straight. Well, he does seem a little bit more fatigued, but this is where if Simon is going to want to pick up and get a little bit emotional, it's going to be in this or the fifth round. And the statistics are closing rapidly. Earlier, Simon Marcus had a massive edge, but now it's 97 strikes landed for Marcus, 89 for Wilness. Simon just ate a big shot there. He landed an uppercut, but Wilness just came back and countered right away. An extremely competitive fight here for the middleweight championship of the world. It's almost becoming an I hit you, you hit me type of fight. Oh, and a right hand now. And the hands are down by the waist for Marcus. The same kind of fight that Simon got. He's starting to get emotional and sit in the pocket with his chin up. And a knee there from Marcus. They're both leaving it all in the ring for sure. Marcus with those knees that have been landing all night long. He's, he's, landing, coming. he's landing good knees, but I'm not sure why he's not respecting the counter punches of Wilness. And there they come. One round to go and a late parting shot from Jason Wilness. Joe, I'm going to ask you how you have it through four rounds. How do you have it through four rounds? How do you have it through four rounds? I have to give the edge to, to Jason Wilness three rounds to one. I'm still giving Simon one, uh, but Wilness the last three. This was some of the action at the end of the fight where Simon started getting a little too comfortable with his head movement, really trying, he's getting too comfortable keeping his chin up in punch range and punching to punch with Wilness, which is not a good strategy. So there you go, you have Simon Marcus really trying to utilize his knees, but he's keeping his chin a little too high in my opinion, and those shots from Wilness are just too powerful still. Let's go. Three minutes to go. Simon Marcus, the challenger. Jason Psycho Wilness, the champ. We are live in Copenhagen, Denmark. Glory 40. And immediately, Marcus backs right up into the corner. Something his corner told him not to do. Well, maybe it's his fatigue factor, and he's going to look to counter punch now. I don't think Jason Wilness has taken a backward step all night long. No, he never does. And that's what I said earlier. He has one style. There's no surprise how Jason Wilness is going to fight, but he's just so effective and so good at this pressure fighting and counter fighting. He's just stalking Simon Marcus around the ring. So what's your message if you're in the corner of Simon Marcus right now? Well, it's just going to have to be to put something together. If The problem is when Simon opens up too much with his hands, he's, he's leaving his chin way too high and his hands too low. So Wilness has the advantage in the punch exchanges. In my opinion, he's going to have to stay outside, keep kicking, and hope to land a good knee, maybe some good front kicks on the outside. But this inside fighting of Wilness is just too good right now. By far the best weapon for Simon Marcus has been knees. A lot of good left kicks too, but they just don't seem to be powerful enough to slow Wilness down. You can see the redness under the right arm of Jason Wilness. 
That tells the tale of what those body kicks have been able to do. And now Wilness right where he wants to be, inside. Just over a minute to go here. This fight still could be up for grabs, no doubt about it. No, this is a better round, even though Simon's fighting backwards. He is landing better this round. Body shot there from Wilness. Simon Marcus answers with a low kick, couple jabs. Marcus switching to southpaw, back to orthodox. Both exchanging good body punches. 30 seconds left. Oh, and a left hand connects from Wilness. Does he have enough energy to follow that up? There's a low kick. That's what he does well, mixes his punches and his low kicks. And a one-two from Wilness. And now the let all hang out as we go to the bell. And that will do it. Both men feel they have won it. Do we have a new world middleweight champion or will Jason Wilness remain on top? The ultra close decision when we return live to Copenhagen, Denmark. Welcome back to Copenhagen, Glory 40 and the middleweight championship of the world in the books, Joe, a lot of highlights. Well, yeah, there was a lot of highlights, but it's a lot of the same type of action. It, but it was Simon Marcus who started off really good at being active, threw a lot of left kicks, um, some good knees, staying on the outside. But as the fight progressed, Wilness was just walking through that volume, countering right back, landed some really good low kicks, some good body punches, some good hits to the head. So it was that really that Simon trying to stay long, uses kicks where Wilness just, his pressure styling seemed to be a little bit too much for Simon as he continued to block him down and counter right back. Looking on social media, it seems like everyone has it three rounds to two, but half the fans have it for Wilness and half the fans have it for Marcus. Here's the way the statistics show the story. Strikes by round, the first two rounds to Simon Marcus, but after that, Jason Wilness closed the gap in a hurry. But you need to remember, we're not looking at, we're also looking at damage and who is doing more damage. The left kicks of Simon were a lot of times off of the arm of Wilness, but every time Wilness countered, he was doing well and doing damage. So you can see from the strikes absorbed, you know, it was Wilness really attacking the head where Simon was really focusing on that left body kick, which a lot of times landed off the arm. Without further ado, the official decision, here's Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, after five championship rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Our five ringside judges give us back a split decision. Here now are the totals. They score this bout 48-47, Marcus. 48-47, Wilness. 49-46, Wilness. 49-46, Marcus. And our fifth and final judge scores the bout 48-47 for your winner. And new glory middleweight champion of the world, Simon Marcus. Here to present the belt, our chief executive officer, John Franklin. Director of Sports, Mr. Core Hammers. It was as close as it could possibly be, Joe. Your reaction to Simon Marcus winning the middleweight championship of the world. Yeah, and that's a, a great win for Simon Marcus, but you can't take anything away from Jason Wilness because that fight was really close, and I'm happy to see a fourth fight, but congratulations, Simon Marcus, bringing the belt back home to Canada. I'm sure the Canadian home uh, fans back home and Canadian kickboxing are very excited to have this belt back in Canada. The months away from family and friends, the hours every day in the gym are worth it tonight for Simon Marcus. 
Simon, congratulations. I can tell you're pretty emotional over this win. Describe your emotions as you have this belt around your waist. Um, God is great. You know, uh, it's been a hard road to get back to the title. I put everything I had into it. From the moment I lost the title, my mind was focused. It came close, but I, I thank God for all the glory today. It was a very competitive match today. Were you ever hurt by um, Jason Williams' powder? Uh, I hurt a little bit, you know. He landed some good shots. I know I landed some good shots. It was a close fight. Um, honestly, it could have went either way. But I felt that uh, I, I, I controlled the fight a little bit more. I landed the cleaner strikes, hit the body a lot, and I was rewarded. Belgari was in here calling you guys out after his fight. How do you feel about that? Bring it, boy. I'm not afraid of nobody. I am the one back on the throne. Tell Belgari to come. No problem. Congratulations, Simon. Thank you very much.